What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to Oakfield Farm. Yes, we have some good things to do today. Finally, we can make some progress. I warn you, this episode, there's going to be a lot of money disappearing. I am so sorry, but this is what we have planned for. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on just crap that we don't need. So we're not going to do that. Let's customize here. We need narrow tires. Yes, we do. Well, DJ, why do we need narrow tires? You will see. We are about to embark in a new area and we are going to get a new field. Yes, we are. Now, unfortunately, this field right now has grass in it. And we got to get that grass out of there because we don't need the grass in there. We have grass fields. We want, so goodness gracious, we want something else in there. I've done some math. I've done many, many maths. And I think that we are going to come out on top today. You'll have to pray for me. And hopefully, if all does go to plan, we, at the end of this video will be cow owners yes we have wanted to do that this whole time and i've said it and said it and said it and i think finally it's going to happen so hopefully by the end of this video we will be tending to some cows let's make sure we don't hit anybody here but we're not going far <laughs> We're going right here. That is right. I, well, as long as we can fertilize this, which I think we can, can we? Yes, that is fertilizable. We are going to buy this field for $117,000. This field, this land, this expansive land is now ours. Oh, yeah. Now, there are a few little odds and ends, and I really should have gotten the thing for the front of this. And actually, before we do any anything having to do with fertilizer, let's drop that off. Hopefully, nobody steals that. We're going to head back up, and we are going to get the Rayboard Zeller. Because there are many, 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 many trees all scattered through this field that are in our way. And I don't want to have to deal with those trees. I want to be able to get in there and I want to be able to mow this grass and get it over and done with. And right now I can't do that. The reason I can't do that is because there's some trees here and there and they are going to be all in our way. So let's run up here. Let's grab the Rayboard Xylor. Where is it? It's somewhere around here. Is it up front or is it Oh, it is up front. Yes. Let's see if we can spin this around. Ooh, this does look good. Too much, too much turning. There we go. Got it. Back out of here. Back down. So what do you guys think of the new field? Uh, it is very big. It is field 15. It is very, very big. Uh, we're not going to keep it grass for long because we just don't need that much grass. Our sheep fields and our cow fields are going to be more than enough. And yes, I'm going to keep mowing the cow field. Uh, it's why, well, why wouldn't you, you know, we're going to keep mowing. Uh, yeah, we could turn in there. We're not going to though. We are going to come up here and I'm going to remove virtually every single tree from the outskirts of this field. Anybody coming? Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's swing this around. Why is the grass dead there? That doesn't make any sense. All right. Wish me luck. Next level. Next 
All right, so the worker has been hired. We've got everything good going on here. We're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna get one fertilization state on this and then we're gonna come through and mow and Ted and Windrow and we're gonna pull it all together. We're gonna get some grass, some hay. Uh, I don't think it's all gonna be hay because we do need grass. I'm not sure where that grass is going to come from, especially since we need to feed the cows uh, that we're going to have soon. I hope. Oh my goodness, I hope. This field's actually a lot bigger than you think it is. And uh, I'm surprised we haven't come down here and kind of colonized, if you will, this field anyway. Uh, this is massive. Huge. And the, the space that we get beyond where the field reaches is even great well it's not even greater but it is great so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna bump over Ooh, bump the wrong way dang here we go okay we're here good now we want to go ahead and start getting stuff for the animals we want to get an Ocotrans. we're gonna need to get a silo king so we're gonna go ahead and get that stuff purchase that purchase what well, how much does this hold was that wow it's a big price difference yeah no we're getting that one mm, i don't think we're gonna have enough cows to facilitate needing these yet so we've got those good is there anything else that we need um eventually we will be selling one of our harvesters to get a new one and that new one's gonna be this big massy right here but for now we don't need that yet. I also eventually want to trade in the sprayer that we have. And I want to buy this Massey Ferguson right here. The Massey Ferguson 9030. However, again, we can't facilitate that yet. I also want a new truck. <laughs> I want everything, man. I'm telling you. I want to get a new truck. I want to get something that I can haul a lot at once. Again. We cannot facilitate that right now. So we have this nonetheless. So let's get these brought over to the farm and let's get everything put away. Everything is delivered. I decided to grab the Massey Ferguson eight or 383, but I'm starting to think maybe these implements are a little large for the 383. We're going to find out. Uh, Food mixer's a little big. I think empty. Oh, yeah, empty. We can handle this just fine. And actually full. We still might be okay. Actually, yeah. No, I think full that we would be just fine with this. So it's got this. Let's bring this in here. And if our, if our backing up skills are good we should be able to just put this right here yeah perfect and then head over and grab one more we do need a bucket for the front of this guy because the massey ferguson 383 will be the animal tractor uh, that's why i bought it i bought it to do animal stuff around uh, it is going to be a little tough pulling everything, but we should be okay. One thing is we will be purchasing all of the water. And the water is right here, if I'm not mistaken. We should get a fill. Uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Do we have to back it up to it? It's not giving us a thing. However, it's filling up. So we might as well go ahead and fill the Aquatrans up while we're here. Might as well, right? It's... Yeah, we fill it up. 
It is costing us quite a bit of money. I'm not sure what the total cost is going to be to fill this up. About to find out. Let's pull away from it. Mm, no, didn't tell us. Wow. Okay. Well, regardless, this Massey is still pulling this around like a champion. So I think we're going to be okay. Especially using this as the animal tractor. I am open to suggestions about a different tractor for animals. However, I really want to use this one. I like this one. This one's cool. I will say this. We need a new implement for the front because this is going to be cleaning out the animals. Right now, we have bell spikes, which is fine. But we aren't doing bells. We're doing everything loose. So we need to get rid of these spikes I think I don't think we need to keep these so how about we do this let's jump into the garage bell spikes let's just sell them sell the bell spikes and we need a bucket we need a bucket of some sort this bucket needs to be able to get manure and it also needs to be able to get chaff so manure fork that will do both. Uh, only holds 1,280, though. Fork with grapple, silage cutter. That'll do the same things, but it only does 1,540. This will do 1,860, but it does look stupid. <laughs> uh, don't I have the old Massey pack in here somewhere? Hang on. Let's bump over. Uh, where is Massey Ferguson? Here we go. Old Massey's. Yeah, why weren't these showing up? 2,000. That'll hold 2,000. That'll hold 2,000. Mm. Should we go with these? This is a little bit more red than those other Masseys are. Uh, this is a tough, tough decision. I'm going to make my decision. And, and, then, and then you'll know what it is. We went with the stole bucket. I promise it looks way better than anything else. I went through and I've kind of like looked at different things and what not. You'd be surprised all the ugly things that I've seen. <laughs> so we did go with the stole bucket. It looks so good. I promise you this looks fantastic and it is exactly what we want. So we've got this. Let's take this back over. Let's put it away. This is what's going to be cleaning up after the animals. So we will not have any kind of thing, anything going on. Wait, are these real bales? Nope, not real bales. Dang it. <laughs> David didn't give us bales. Crap. That's all right. Uh, let's bump over. Oh, it appears that they're done. Let's take a look in here real quick. Are we good? The whole thing looks good. That's awesome. Yes. Let's get to mowing. Boom. How do you like that for a little switcherooski? So let's bring this down. Ooh, unfold it first. There we go. Bring it in here. Hopefully we don't del er, tiff, tiff. words. I hope we don't mess up too much of this field. I know we're not going to do too bad to it. All right. Let's lower this down. Here's my plan here. Tell me what you think about this. I think I'm going to do one headland and we're going to collect that as grass and see how much we get. And if I can get about, I don't know, 50,000, I think that should be plenty to give the cows for a year. I think that should be way actually more than enough to give the cows for one year of grass. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? We can always get more later, um, but I think for right now, I think I'm going to hit this first headland. We'll come through, we'll ted it up, or not ted it, but we'll windrow it up. Wow, I deleted those uh, bushes. They have kind of needed those, didn't we? I did go around on this entire field. I, did just, I just chopped the heck out of all the trees that I could. Some of them I couldn't, but they just look awful and so i wanted to come through and make it look better make it look nice make it look presentable 
and get some of those nasty trees out of the hedges kind of open it up a little bit give it let it breathe let it breathe open it up and let it breathe so we're definitely definitely you can see the how much just a fertilization state changes look at that that is nuts all right spin this around hopefully we don't miss too much yeah we didn't miss too much back there so this headland we're gonna get this done and then come through windrow it collect it and then we're gonna set the mower off hopefully the mower can do what it needs to do on its own the end game for this actually is not to keep this as a grass field no 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 this field will be a soybean field this year because we've already done our silage harvest so we will take this field do our uh, plant soybeans in it we will harvest those probably a day later than the rest of the soybeans on the map and then we'll come through after that of course we'll plant our wheat or barley or canola for next year in here and then in year three this will become the chaff field we'll plant corn in here and we will get our chaff and actually we're probably going to go ahead and purchase the forage harvester oh man we should have got these trees right here these are way in the way oh my goodness yeah definitely gonna have to get rid of those so Let's get this done. We're almost finished. And let's grab the wind rower. All right, we are getting hay made. We're throwing it, we're spinning it. The mower is doing a fantastic job as well. And we are doing good getting this field done. Really good, actually. We're making a great job and it looks good. Oh man, it looks good. Let's, 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 let's jump in the mower real quick. I do have these on workers because again it's so much easier to do with a worker than it is to do by yourself oh it's amazing i love it so we can't do any wind rowing until we get the entire field done problem with that you get the wind rower going the workers are just going to mess it up that tether is going to come through and throw it all over the place so we're going to have to hold off for now on doing wind rowing so we're literally sitting here until this entire field gets done not a problem there's pretty darn annoying so <laughs> here's the dealio homie i think that if i continue this is going to be about a 50 minute video and instead of it being a 50 minute video it would be real nice to turn this into two 25 minute videos because that would be much easier to watch. It's not the weekend, we're not making a movie on Oakfield Farm. <laughs> so, that being said, is this gonna tell me the worker's done? Nope, it's doing a good job, sweet. So, let's jump over here, make sure that everything's still going good with the tether, which it appears to be doing so. You know what, Mr. Tether? Let's, uh, let's fire you real quick, I think. How about this? We're going to throw that down. We're going to turn you on. And we're going to get a nice picture. Because I think this thing looks sweet. 
Should we do flash on or off? Flash on or off? Hmm. I think we'll keep the flash on. And we got that. Good. Looks good. Let's spin this way just a little bit. Say cheese. Cheese. Ooh, let's wait for that mower in the background. Let's wait for it. Wait for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait for it to stop. Right there. Got it. Okay, guys. So that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. You know, I right, please subscribe. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We will get cows tomorrow. I promise. Maybe. <laughs> I hope y'all have a good one. We will see you later. Peace.